In this supplement to the APA Survival Guide, we'll learn how to format correlation statistics. As shown here, a correlation is represented by a lowercase r. Correlations test the relationship or association between two variables. Now let's say that you own a manufacturing company and you want to know whether a customer's frequency of purchasing your product varies with the customer's shipping costs. After inputting the data into SPSS, the results might look something like this. Here is the correlation coefficient, and here is the probability, with the sample size of 50. Now before we can report this result in APA style, we need to compute one more statistic called degrees of freedom. As shown here, the degrees of freedom are equal to the sample size minus 2. Since the sample size in this situation was 50, we have 48 degrees of freedom. When writing your results, use this format. Just insert the results from your output. Notice that the R and P are lowercase and in italics, and everything else is in regular typeface. Also note that zeros are not placed before the decimals because R and P never exceed 1. Also, put spaces before and after the equal sign to make sure that the result is readable. Correlation results are often presented in a matrix, like this one. Notice that a range of p-values is provided along with asterisks so the readers understand the results. Correlations are very common in research, so be sure to present your results in proper APA style. Use the information shown here to learn more.